Now I want to uh, talk a little bit about keyword selection and search strings. So let's see an example. What you can see here is an example from one paper where they have one, two, three, four, five. They have five databases that they have used to search research papers and they have searched two research questions. For two research questions, they have used this library or this database. For the others, they have used this and so on and so forth. Uh, why they have done this? Uh, I need to see that paper. I don't recall uh, why they would do that, but this is not uh, necessary. Uh, you could have all the research questions searched in different libraries. Okay, so uh, let's look at what uh, what they have here. So there's a uh, query. Two things that you can see here is the use of the Boolean operator and and or. Okay, so I will show you what this this means and how you can apply. Uh, this when you are developing your search strings. So at the moment from this screen, just look at the different keywords that they have used. Yeah. Debug, check, validation, um, model, semantic, ontology, requirements, and so on. Okay. So these are the keywords and the keywords are put in a specific order to make up these keyword uh, search strings. Uh, this is another example. So here, what you can see is they have these databases that they have used and they have given the queries that they have applied. So keywords and uh, keywords are connected with each other using these and or or operators. Okay. This, the and and the or are called as Boolean operators. Yeah. But basically, just they help you to combine different keywords in uh, some order. When you run a query on, so this is the search query. When you run this query on a database, you will get results. So in this case, 516, 519 and so on. So total 4000 results, 4400 results. That's quite a lot of results. There could be duplicate results that come up because a paper from IEEE may be indexed in Scopus as well as Web of Science. Same thing for ACM and so on. So one of the things that you need to do is to remove duplicate papers from the search results. OK, so now what I want to uh, show you is uh, keyword selection and developing your search strategies. OK, I'll just so first of all, we have to identify what keywords we are going to choose to help us answer the research questions. Okay. So first thing for that, you can look, what you can do is you can look at your uh, research questions and highlight keywords. So that would be the first uh, way you can green your research. So in this case, these are the three research questions. So let me see if I were looking at this, I would say AI applications is probably one keyword that I want to use. Manufacturing, business processes, how AI can use to improve. Maybe I could probably try this as a keyword. Okay. So at least by looking at the research questions, I get some ideas of what I should be uh, searching for to find the answers to these research questions. Okay. So now let's see what keywords in, in this. So artificial intelligence, machine learning. Neural network, robot, intelligent agent, and deep learning. Okay. So these are all the different keywords or synonyms for one particular concept or one particular keyword, which is AI. So I could also add AI here. Okay. So AI stands for artificial intelligence, and there are many different other words that describe artificial intelligence. So machine learning, neural network, robot, intelligent agent, deep learning. Okay. So that is, uh, let's say this is the first thing. What else does he have here? Manufacturing process, manufacturing business process, manufacturing operation. And then there is a word adopt. Okay. So business process, manufacturing process, manufacturing operations. So business process was here. Manufacturing business process is here. That's fine. Latest AI focused. Okay. So broadly, there are three things uh, in this search string. Manufacturing related. Yeah. Artificial intelligence related. 
and adoption related okay so in simplest way the search query can be or the search string can be artificial intelligence and manufacturing and adoption okay so this is what basically i want to search i want to search for papers that are on artificial intelligence that deal with manufacturing and they also cover adoption because that's the basic skeleton of a search string